Uh, Scott just found a silver ring. Let's see what he's got. I didn't lose it on the way here. Oh. Uh, oh, there it is. That's a pretty big one. Thing weighs a lot. It's got a mark somewhere. Yeah, it's still pretty heavy. Right there, 925. Cool. Can I have it? <laughs> Here you That's go. Four rings in a week. Bang. Yeah, he found two gold rings yesterday. I'll have to show you all that later. Oh, I found an awesome ring earlier. This one here. Oh. <laughs> Not really. It's a junkie. Probably copper. Anyway. Let's we'll see if he'll trade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's deep. There it is. Whatever it is. I don't think a zinc got that deep. It shouldn't. There it is. What's oh, a key? Oh. Dang it. It's an Indian key. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, I just dug a 46S, I think it's in there, no it's a D, wheat, I dug a 30 something a little bit ago. It's a really worn 1920 uh, wheat, check out the signal it gives you on the E-Track, hang on, let's see, I can back it up a little bit. Kind of giving you Indian head signal, so it must be pretty worn. I wasn't expecting to get the weed out of there. All right, I'll get back with you. Okay, there's something else in the hole down here, so same hole that I just dug that weed out of. Still in there. Must be something. Oh, it's a nail. Hurts. Oh well. Barbed wire. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's just a piece of iron. Yeah, here's uh, Scott's rings that he found <laughs> yesterday. Uh, I've got a J initial on it. There, hold that one. Let me see if I can get that 417. Where was it at? It's small. Is it? Yeah. This is 417 right there. It stands for 10 carat. And then here's the other one. Would have been nice to be diamonds. Oh, yeah. It looks like it should have them in there. So. That says 10K on it somewhere. Yeah. Okay, um, I just got a good hit right here. And it took me a while to find it because I think there's two different targets in here. I thought it was going to get a wheat penny and I was surprised to see this little silver dime pop out. It looks like it's a Merc. 
Okay, um, I'm gonna see if I can find the other target in there real quick. Okay, it's just right. Where'd I put that time on? I'm losing. Okay, <clears throat> looks like there's a little pocket spill with a nickel in there. It's a 1940 nickel. That's sweet. Cool. Okay, let me check the hole, see if there's anything else in there. <clears throat> Looks like that's it. What kind of signal is it? Well, it's bouncing from a dime or something else. He's got it in the plug. Oh, it's gone now. Oh, that's a piece of iron. Yeah, it's not. It's not giving me a strong suit yet. Yeah, there it is. Is it? Go back over and see if there's anything else in there. <laughs> All right. Okay, I got a real good deep. It looks like it's six or seven inches, quarter, half dollar signal right there. Yeah, but it's not a. It's not a silver. It's a wheat. Though. It's a wheat penny. It's a little disappointing. Uh, forty-five. Huh. Oh well. Let me check the. I'm sure that was it because I've. I've gotten those, give me those signals before. Looks like that's it. Oh well. Okay, we're done. Uh, this is over two different hunts. But there's all the, the pennies and the clad. I ended up with seven wheat pennies. Uh, no key dates or nothing like that. There's the junk ring I found. Not sure what it's made of, but it rang up of the quarter or half dollar. Well, if it's copper or what. Um, I got two nickels. One of them's a 46 and the other one's a 40. Uh, where's the, okay. This one here, you can see where the Merc was laying right on the back of it. So I had to put some baking soda to the Merc, make it look better. It's in pretty good shape. Still has some of the green on the back of it right there. But that's my finds, guys. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting.